Eagles, Redskins. They've been going at it since 1934. For a series played as long as this NFC East rivalry, it's impossible to pick out the best moments, but not the best era. It's a special five-year window where the games were tight, crazy, and in some cases, both. Five seasons, five memorable games. An important NFC Eastern Division battle between the Washington Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles at sold out Veterans Stadium here in Philadelphia. After dominating John Elway's Broncos the previous January, a Super Bowl malaise had pushed Joe Gibbs' Redskins to six and seven entering their week 14 meeting at the Vet in 1988. The Eagles, however, were flying high in their third year under Buddy Ryan and in control of their own destiny. Buddy brought a new attitude to the city of brotherly love. Second and three for the Eagles. And on a fade pattern, Byers has it for the touchdown. Meanwhile, with Washington out of the playoff race, Gibbs had predetermined that a young Mark Rippon would close out the season over the banged up Doug Williams. Rippon made that decision awfully tough to stick with. On a designed sprint, the pass by Rippon is intercepted. Wes Hopkins. Rippon gets away from Pitts, and the pass is intercepted by Seth Joyner. This was not the future Super Bowl MVP's day. It would be up to the former Super Bowl MVP to get Washington in gear. Doug Williams up the middle. Gary Clark has it. Williams has Clark. Great catch by Clark. Yet it seemed the Redskins were doing everything possible to lose this game, much like they had all season. And the ball is bobbled by Coleman. And the Redskins. by Washington. It was at that moment that this game got weird. First, Cunningham, with his team firmly in control at 19 to 10 and Washington sputtering, gave away the ultimate freebie. Cunningham on a play fake and Wolf intercepts for the Redskins. This time the Redskins took advantage and watched as somebody else imploded. A Williams toss to Terry Orr closed the gap to 19 to 17. After an Eagles punt, Washington was on the move again, getting into field goal range. But it was no gimme with strong wins. So a gambling Gibbs came up with another idea. It'll be a 45 yard attempt, and it's a fake. Coleman throws it away, but it's only third down with six seconds to go. Yikes. But with it only being third down, guess what? No harm, no foul. The kick is long enough, and it's good. The kick is good, and the Redskins taking a lead with one second to play. And Ryan is not going to wait for that one second. He's heading into the dressing room. An epic Eagles loss was followed by an epic Eagles offensive display the next time these longtime rivals met. In 1989, Philadelphia was considered a Super Bowl favorite. Thus, the Redskins were fired up for their week two meeting at RFK. For his part, Ryan had determined that the Eagles Super Bowl aspirations could be derailed by play action passes. What's that saying about old habits? They open with a double tight end set now. Warren to the right side. Rippin, play action pass on first down. Deep left side. Terry, you called it. Here's Gary Clark. No flags down. Touchdown. On the next Redskins series, first play in fact, they decided no fakes, just run it. And on Riggs. This was getting ugly. It would get uglier. A lot of movement and a lot of time for Rippin across the middle. Touchdown, Biner. 20 to zip, Redskins. And that's when Cunningham put on a show in the best passing day of his entire career. Blitz threatened again. There is no blitz. Cunningham, Manley coming from the left. Randall steps up, fires. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Left side. Brian Day. Oh, what a catch. What a dandy catch by Chris Carter. Cunningham, Manley with the rush. Byers looks for a block, gets one from Tamburello. Out of the tackle. Still looking for help, and he's got a first down. Play fake. He hands it out, goes left side. Jackson, touchdown. 
Here's Randall Cunningham. Keith fires. Goes by Brian Davis. Blitz. Here comes a blitz. Cunningham in the corner. Man open. Caught. Touchdown, Chris Carter. 2.25 to go in the ball game. Cunningham. Garrity wide open. Blitz. Cunningham off his back foot. Leaping grab. Touchdown. Now third down. Fumble. Eagles get it back. They are out of timeouts, but they have the ball. And here goes Wes Hopkins. This play is still live. There has been no indication of out of bounds. Hopkins is out of bounds at the five yard line. Play fake. Cunningham. Jackson is open. Caught. Touchdown. 34 of 46, 447 yards, and five touchdowns for Cunningham. Philly would finish 11 and 5 and make the playoffs while the 10 and 6 Redskins sat at home. The next year found the Eagles a preseason darling again. But halfway through the season, you couldn't tell. An ugly loss at RFK earlier in the year put them a game back of Washington heading into week 10. This Monday night clash would come to be known as the body bag game. It was gnarly. Here we have a fight right off the bat. This is always an intense rivalry between these two clubs. Geographically so close, and boy, they get after it. I think every one of these players brought an extra chin strap tonight. Are these guys hitting each other or what? I mean, this is as intense a game as we anticipated. The Eagles got on the board early on a Jeff Rutledge pick six. The score was 7-0. The story was something else. The kind of hitting we're seeing tonight, he's sort of self-generating. Lost his mouthpiece at the end of this hit. Well, you see Reggie White uh, extremely upset with Don Warren. Don Warren, one of the tougher Redskins players and a 12-year vet, didn't mind mixing it up. He also kept Washington in the contest with this touchdown catch to tie the game at seven. Philadelphia took control in the second half in a game they had to have with this touchdown pass. Here's Byers, and Byers that's when Washington started losing players left and right. Is that Minuski still down on the field? Greg Minuski, the middle linebacker. And there goes Minuski. Next came the quarterback. And more eagle points. Brian and everybody else goes into the pattern. West Hopkins with a sack. It's picked up by Clyde Simmons. And it's a touchdown. Again, nobody there to pick him up. And there's Stan Humphreys with his jacket off and warming up. The same Stan Humphreys who took the Chargers to Super Bowl 29. Well, he wasn't that guy, at least not against this defense. And they'll keep that imperfect record intact as Reggie White comes up with the loose ball. And White takes it all the way down to the nine yard line. And it is Humphreys fighting his way. And I think Humphreys is hurt. Did you see his leg get twisted when he went down? If they have to go to somebody beside Rutledge, number 30 is Brian Mitchell. With the football game in hand, Washington's uh, quarterback made a name for himself. As in the NFL's all-time leader in kick return yards, came in to play quarterback. Enter rookie running back Brian Mitchell under center. On top 28-7. Mitchell, it's a, it's a great college play. I just want you to know, as we watch this pass from Brian Mitchell downfield. A second down, Mitchell throws, the catch is made, and he is just short of the goal line. Mitchell, well, why not? He deserves it. Mitchell's heroics aside, the Eagles crushed their rival in a pivotal game in the 1990 playoff race. But the postscript on this famous game was markedly different. With both teams emerging as wild cards, the Redskins would be forced to travel back to the vet on the first weekend of the playoffs. Washington dominated in a 20-6 win that brought the end of the Buddy Ryan era in Philadelphia. In 1991, the Redskins were the class of the league, taking a 14-1 record into Week 17. The heated rivals picked up right where they left off last time they met in Philly. And then there's a little confrontation, and Mike Golick is leading the way. These two teams do not like each other. In fact, uh, they are bitter rivals. Oh. Oh. Amidst all the pounding on each other, Gibbs' team got off to a 19-7 lead. While the score was being tracked, so were the sacks. 
Washington's O-line was trying to set a modern NFL record for fewest sacks allowed in a season. They had only given up six all year. Well, and the Eagles would love nothing more than to get a sack to keep the Redskins from having that record. While the Philly offense sputtered, the defense started getting after those Hogs and their quarterback. Blitz coming again, and they got it! William Thomas! And that means that the best the Redskins can do is tie the Miami Dolphins of 1988. Second down and 20. Blitz! Joiner buries Rutledge. Rutledge did get rid of the ball. Boy, he broke his face mask. Now, if there's ever reason to have a penalty called on an illegal hit to the head, this has got to be pretty good evidence against it. Look at that face mask. Here's Rutledge back. Reggie White coming. Got him. And that means that the Miami Dolphins will hold on to the NFL record for sacks. And it also means that Reggie White continues his streak as the only man in the NFL who has more than a sack for every game in which he has played. Finally, Philadelphia started attacking something besides the Washington offensive line. Play action in the end zone, wide open, Jackson, touchdown. Kemp with time. The Redskins would get a Chip Low Miller field goal to go back up 22 to 21. This game, despite not meaning anything in the standings, was carrying plenty of drama as the Eagles marched into scoring range once more. Yes, indeed. Perhaps the physical struggle with Philadelphia was exactly what Washington needed. Gibbs' club destroyed the field in the NFC playoffs before blowing out the Bills in Super Bowl 26. The following year, both teams were simply trying to survive in the playoff race. It was week 16 in familiar territory, with two evenly matched teams and yet another classic tug of war to clinch a postseason berth. The crowd and the atmosphere, certainly everything you would expect. The winner is in the playoffs. That's how close this series has been over the years. 115 games between these two and one point difference. This is what NFL football is all about. Meaningful games in December. The winner goes to the playoffs. You can't beat them. Ruzik. Kickoff will be handled by Brian Mitchell at the three. Mitchell out of the pack. He's got to beat Ruzik. He's holding down just enough. Even with the stakes high, it wouldn't take long for the 1992 version of this longtime rivalry to look like so many others. The Eagles were jacked up in front of their friendly crowd, up 7-3 and playing their usual stout brand of defensive football. Then the Redskins got out of neutral. Look left, look deep. Sanders, Ricky Sanders, Redskins touchdown. Low Miller hit a field goal to close out the first half scoring, putting the Redskins up 13 to seven. But a couple of the Eagles' top players would answer early in the second. Here's Cunningham out of the pocket, and he's gonna take off. Cunningham appears to be changing things. The lead. This is everything you could expect. Both defenses desperately fought to control this game in classic NFC East fashion. With both offenses struggling to get traction, special teams picked it up when it mattered most. Kick will be returned by Sikahema. By Sikahema. Out of bounds by Thomas. That set up Roger Ruzek from 23 yards out to stretch Philadelphia's lead from one point to a significant four-point margin. 
Now Rippon and the Washington offense had one more chance with possession and under four minutes on the clock. Joe Gibbs, one of the great offensive minds in this game. Bud Carson, one of the great defensive minds in this game, playing a chess match. If you're a competitor, you want to be in big games. And you want to be in big games right at the end. This is what it's all about. These are the great games. This is what makes the NFL. The Redskins gutted their way down the field, fighting a top flight defense at their place to work their way deep into Eagle territory. This place is shaking. Madden was right, and from 1988 to 1992, you couldn't top this Eagles-Redskins series either. 